Hello, my name is Rob Marcota, and I am an Aviva product specialist. Today I'll be going over how to change the settings for Insight Performance. I currently have an Aviva Edge project running that I will be using to simulate the runtime, idle, and downtime states to represent our widget production machine. The Edge project has three buttons and indicators to change the state of the machine from run, idle, and stop. I also have an Insight application that is receiving the data from my Edge project and displaying it on the dashboard. Currently, the Insight performance model is set up for runtime and downtime status only. This demo will walk through how to add another state to display the idle status. Let's first go over the Edge project and confirm that the project is sending data to Insight. Currently, we are sending a runtime signal to Insight. If we change to stop, we see that the value is changed that is sent to Insight, and we should see an update in Insight. Now, if we change it back to, if we change it to idle, we should see this update to runtime status because the idle state has not been added to Insight there. So it's working as expected. To connect the Edge project to Insight, please refer to my other video that goes over these simple steps to achieve. There is a link to view this video below. The Insight performance configurations can be located by clicking in the top right corner and selecting on Administration and then Efficiency. The seven boxes here each can be configured to the settings for your production line. In order to add idle as a possible state, we need to add it as a possible state with color, as well as add the automation value coming from Edge. To add it as a possible state with color, we need to go to the Equipment Efficiency Hub and then click on Equipment States. We need to export the file, so I will click on the Export icon and open it up in Excel. I'm now going to add another line underneath the down and running called idle. Under description, well here let's expand this out a little bit. Under description we're going to add idle state. Under state type we're going to call it idle and color we're going to say yellow. I'm going to save this and then re-import it back into the equipment states. So I'm going to click on import and then drag the file over. So there we see it now. To add the automation value coming from Edge, we need to go to the equipment efficiency model and then click on utilization reasons. So go back into the model and click on utilization reasons. We then need to click on Generic Utilization Reasons and export the file again, or export this file. I'm going to do a similar procedure where I open up the file, expand it out a little bit so we can see what we're looking at, and add idle description. Idle, automation value of two, equipment state is going to be idle, and main uh, reason group assignment is going to be main group. Now, I originally created this main group in a previous configuration, and I can show you that. So I'm going to exit out, save it, save, yes, and then import this file again. So just for a quick reference, the, the utilization groups that I spoke about, the main group, is created right here. Now that the idle state has been added, we can go back to the dashboard and confirm that the idle state will show up in the dashboard. So we go back and go back to home.
and then we click on equipment efficiency. And now, if we click on runtime, I'm confirming we're in our time, click on stop time, confirming we get the stop time. Cool, now we're in stop time. And if we change to idle, we should see the idle state show up. Great, so now the idle state has been added. So this concludes our brief demonstration of how to change the configurations and inside performance. If you'd like to recreate the same setup that I have, you can click on the link below to download the project files yourself. And if you have any other questions, please give me an email at rob.marcota at california.wonderware.com. Thank you.